Hey, g'day, welcome to another Let's Play. This one is Deprave. Deprave is a Wild West city builder. Now, I've been watching this game for uh, a couple of months now, and I've been super excited to sort of get a, uh, I guess, a, a demo, uh, just to have a have a look at it as well. So you start off with a procedurally generated world in, with a single carriage. Um, obviously, you create your first settlement, and then you build the city from that, but obviously it's got bandits, it's got Indians. Um, and then you've also got other dangers such as storms and weathers as you go through an entire year. You also trade with other towns just so you get all the uh, requirements because every single character has their own mood if their needs are not met. So let's get straight into it. go welcome there's our little uh, settlers wagon and here we are in our um, procedure generated world now if we zoom out we actually sort of get a little bit of the clouds which is a nice sort of touch um, mountains with a little bit of coal uh, coming out of the side or iron depending what uh, it is there plenty of wildlife some good and some bad some friendly some not so friendly um, nice little train line. So I don't know if the train line actually brings in stores and supplies or at this stage it appears to just um, um, it appears to sort of just be there for um, aesthetic purposes sort of just sits there um, sort of goes through. So what we want to do is we want to we've also got some aggressive bears there. Nice for meat um, but geez they pack a punch. So we're going to find ourselves a nice little area, and I think this would be nice. Just on here, a bit of green, we've got the trees, a bit of the other area, some rocks. Which is nice, I'm not too worried about the coal and stuff yet for this town. We've got some deers, we've got some bisons for food, we've got some boars. Alright, this looks like a nice area, so let's bring our, um, our wagon over here. And we're going to park ourselves some... Um, Plenty of, of stone. We're going to park ourselves over here. And here we are. Here's our wagon. All right. So let's uh, let's drop this little wagon. Oh, we've got a wolf over there. Not good. Um, so what you need to be careful of when you're actually placing is your wolves and your bears, especially when you've got your early settlement and you don't have any uh, anyone with a weapon. Um, these wolves will just rip through your settlement. Um, boars and all that are all friendly, so that's okay. So as much as I would have liked to put it... Um, down south, I'm actually going to put all right, we're going to put our settlement in this area here next to the train station, so let's move them we're going to drop it there, we'll just face it the other way, that's alright we'll just face the town hall towards the train station, so here you go, you get yourself uh, seven new settlers, sorry I thought you normally got eight, but that's okay and we get ourselves a nice little town hall there. So they'll start building on that town hall. And at the same time, we get a couple of options. So here we've got a little wheel down the bottom. The first one is your build. Second one will give you your, so that will give you your build menu. Within your build menu, you've got uh, building materials, houses, food production, uh, transportation, logistics and mining, um, and city components. Um, the second menu that we have is actually the city overview and the city overview will tell you the mood and currently our mood is going down. The reason our mood is dropping at the moment is the lack of housing. Um, clearly we don't have any housing. Crime is staying stable um, and because we've placed one building uh, it's costing us $15, um, $15 a cycle. Um, I'm saying a cycle, I don't know if it's a day or if it's actually uh, a, uh, yeah, I think it may be a day. Um, what you do is, you obviously your building, such as your manufacturing, production buildings and so forth, will cost you money. Um, however, you gain rent, so the way you make income is two ways, is one through the rent of your housing, um, the second is on obviously the sale of product going to another, another town. And you sell that product through two means, either a trading post where you sell it to another town, um, or via your town hall where you'll sell it to another city that's off map and AI. 
goods overview will tell you the uh, the goods that you have in stock. Um, your pioneers at the moment, um, and green uh, obviously down to, or their mood, which is down on the side. And what will happen is if your mood drops down to red, then their mood changes. And when their mood changes, they start becoming violent, they start stealing, or they start uh, start doing crimes. And rests, if you've actually got any rests. Next thing we've got is transport routes, and that's just denoting that you've got the train and you've got the river going through there. Uh, plus, I think if you have two cities, it would actually show if you've actually linked a route between the two trading posts. Um, the actual map, very similar to that, but what it will also do is show you bandits, uh, bandits on the maps, your population um, levels, but also the needs of those population levels. Um, as you can see, as you're starting to come up to settlers, um, you're going to need clothing and rum, or clothing and alcohol, uh, plus they're going to need bread and that as well to uh, uh, suffice. Merchant are going to need fish and a little bit of jewellery. And then the last one is your settings, going back to the, the first page as well. So as we've done that, the guys have slowly started building the town hall. It's unfortunate your town hall's facing the other way, but you can rotate that around so you can see you're just using your Q&E key um, to actually rotate. We're going to do a little bit more building at the moment, and we're going to start building some houses but then we're also going to build a, a lumber yard just so we, so we can actually get in. Um, the lumber jack is actually uh, obviously to cut down trees whereas the sawmill is to turn it from logs into um, into planks so you can actually use. So we're actually going to drop, we want to try and use as, as much as this green as possible um, and we're going to build the city around here. So we're going to drop our, uh, our lumber yard just down here. Using the middle mouse button we can rotate that around a little bit. Uh, we're going to drop you. You know what, we can actually drop you at the... Um, there we go. Plenty of room. Alright, so there it is, dropping the, uh, the lumber yard, so that will actually give us the logs, and we want actually a bit of a sawmill. Uh, so that sawmill is going to be in the town though, um, because there's a couple of things that use logs, which is the, uh, the person that makes the firewood, as well as the, obviously the lumber yard that we've got here. So we're going to put this lumber yard back to back against the town hall, um, rotating down, let's rotate it again like that and then we'll find a place we can we can actually put it straight at the back of the town hall so we're going to do that now the thing that I do like about this game um, is how they use the trees so in other games and I'm sure you've played them as well if you've got uh, trees or rocks in the area you drop the building on top it just takes away the trees, but not in this game. What you need to do is you need to get your lumberjack and the lumberjack clears the area. If you have a tree, much like this, these single trees here, you will not be able to build buildings uh, on top of those, uh, on those top of those areas. The most important thing though, as you can see, I'm actually losing uh, around about $15 a cycle. Um, so we need to get some houses um, to be built. So to start off with, you're just looking at workers' tents each worker tent can take one tenant um, and it rents for four dollars. Um, so what we've got is we've got seven and every time we place a building um, and that would be this building here would be one, this one here the sawmill, we're going to get an extra two tenants so it doesn't take it out of your original seven uh, builders or pioneers. Um, individuals such as um, lumberjacks and that will come into your town. Um, so let's, uh, let's build us some, uh, some tents. We've got plenty of open ground here but I want to sort of maybe use this as a bit of a hunting area. Um, we're going to put our initial houses down this way. Don't be afraid to sort of build them a little bit away from your main town because you're going to start putting things inside your actual main town at, uh, itself. Alright, I'm going to go there. 
bring that around so we've actually got it in front. So it actually looks like we're actually facing our uh, town. And that way it looks a little bit easier. We're gonna put some of our tents and our houses over this side. So let's just put a cycle of these, face them down towards this, each other. And we're gonna place just a few tents here. So by doing that, the entrances are at the front, and this will naturally, like here, it will naturally create a pathway and a road um, that your uh, that your um, your town will start establishing. The last one we actually want to build. A couple of things is it will it will build the items as you drop them down. However, if you build an item, let's say, you know what, we want to do a little bit of hunting because we've only got 20 food, maybe we want to bring the food up a little bit uh, quicker. What we can actually do is drop our hunter's lodge down. I'm gonna drop our hunter's lodge down. Drop it down over here by the woods. We've got some great areas for hunting, but obviously once we clear out all those bison, they're gonna go. Um, we're gonna drop our hunter's lodge down by the trees, and then I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a heap of boars and pigs. We do, deers, excellent. All right, so let's drop our hunter's lodge over here. Once you've dropped it, if you wanna actually speed up the priority of the um, uh, of that, um, what you can actually do is simply click on it, and here you can actually change the priority. Um, so that will actually speed it up um, and bring it into another lot level of uh, priority. So in this case here, this is already being prioritized, but by clicking it once, priority one, two, three. Obviously the, with the third chevrons, is going to have the highest priority. Now you'll see the settler's wagon that's all keep coming uh, uh, back. Uh, this is where you can actually sort of trade. So by pressing on the town hall, uh, it will allow um, us to either buy items or sell items. Now at the moment we're doing okay, um, but what you can do is actually just press on the buy item um, this will be a collection of items that you actually have. Um, then once you click on the items, you can determine how many of those items you actually want. The same as you're selling. You click on the red. Um, this will denote that you want to sell an item. Currently, you know, we don't have, well, we do have stock. We've got our own sort of stock there, and then you can determine how much you want to actually have. Now, you can sell or buy up to a maximum four um, uh, units um, and once uh, each of these units are placed in this uh, sort of little storage area to the left of the town hall um, and they will remain there until they're either taken away by your your pioneers and moved to let's say a warehouse uh, or they're actually completely sold. If you change your mind in selling you can right click and that will actually remove the item from the storage so that's fine. All right, so we're going to speed this up a little bit and we will be back once all this is built. Okay, welcome back. So we've um, we've sort of just progressed a little bit. We've got first uh, four houses. We're still making negative $9. And if we jump on the city, we can actually sort of see. So our house rental, as it says in the top right-hand corner, when we click on it, we're getting $4. Uh, it says $4 per hour. Yeah, okay. Um, I would have thought it would be like four dollars per cycle, but anyway, so we're getting four dollars for the um, for the house itself. Um, the expenditure on the buildings that we've got is minus thirty, so we're making um, uh, minus fourteen dollars per cycle. Um, what we do want to do, we notice we're actually getting a little bit down on the stone, so this is where we're talking about our prioritisation. Um, you can actually now, I'm going to sort of, now that we've done these two houses, I'm actually going to up the priority of uh, this one here, uh, of the Hunter's Lodge. Oh, no, disregard. Um, but we will 
actually up the Hunter's Lodge just so we can actually start getting some uh, food in as well because obviously we're starting to eat through the, the food that we've got. You can also see that we're starting to get a nice collection of horses here. We will need to build a stable soon. Um, every new member we talked about, so as the, uh, the person that came did the sawmill or if the person's come that's done the actual the lumberjack themselves, they've parked their horse here. Um, so if we do not get a stable, the horses will starve and die uh, just sitting there. So uh, we will we'll definitely work on those. Now what also we, we want to do is we want to build our houses because the next couple of things that are important, as you can see here is a stonemason and we need 10 pioneers. So at the moment with uh, eight houses, um, we won't get to those 10 pioneers that we need. Um, so we do need to sort of expand and, and build some more housing. Um, we can actually have a look at our circle so we can sort of see where the, um, the circle is and we might just drop the rest of the houses sort of in this area here and have this as a bit of a home. The other one is when we build larger houses, we will tear down these houses. Um, so it's also where we're gonna put our secondary lot of houses. I just don't wanna scare away this, um, uh, these bisons because I actually wanna use these to kill. Once we've killed these, then we'll actually put things in this area here. So let's drop a few more houses in this, um, this area at the top here. Um, and use just some of this, uh, this dead ground. All right. Okay, welcome back. All right, as you can see, we're doing well, plus we're also coming into a night cycle, which is nice. Um, we've built ourselves sort of eight, nine little work tents now. We've got 10 on, so 10 is great, and it gives us an opportunity to uh, then get the next lot of building, which we're gonna actually have a look at the building, and then I think we're gonna stop series one there, but uh, let's have a look. So we can also see that with the little housing icon, is this individual here is the only one that doesn't have a house? His mood is at 50% or 45% and the two things are the fact that he's homeless um, and he doesn't have a small church. Uh, we didn't have the ability to build churches before but now with the new buildings we've got some new buildings. So the first one we've got is a stonemason, handy as we're getting down on the, on the stone. The second one we've got is we've now got a woodcutter uh, which can convert our logs into firewood. Um, which is definitely going to come handy as we start coming into winter. One thing I didn't say before is, is your timing here. Uh, so you've actually got your seasons and your time. So 10 p.m. Um, and you'll see them. Uh, you'll see them actually sort of start sleeping. Those that don't actually have a bed will just set up a campfire and, and relax there. Food-wise, now we'd already bought the uh, the hunter's hut, and I'll just show you something with the hunter's hut. Um, uh, after this, uh, a well uh, which will help with the water. So at the moment we're surviving on the water that the initial pioneers brought with them, um, but we will need to build a well uh, that will supply water for the town. Um, not only will it supply them for drinking water, uh, as we do things such as grain or sheep or other things, we'll need the water as well. A tailor, so we can actually start building uh, clothes. Uh, that being said, we need to actually be able to have um, weaving uh, and materials. We can either buy our materials to start off with. Uh, as you can see here, we can buy the cloth for $16. Uh, and there we can actually make our clothing if required. That being said, we're also given 10 pieces of clothing to start off with. So we can monitor that as it drops down, then we can consider bringing in a a tailor. If we get to our, um, our transportation logistics and mining tab we can now see that we've actually got a warehouse and as I said before the warehouse you would have seen maybe a couple of these things drop down. Uh, the warehouse will, as they do in more, most games, will allow that storage so when this is capped at nine um, it will take the additional supplies and put it within the warehouse itself. And then the last tab which is the city tab there's a couple of important things there. We have our small church. We also have our toilet. So we're going to actually um, build a toilet um, and that will stop uh, people from actually sort of um, making a mess or just crapping anywhere within the actual town itself. So we're going to place the toilet. Let's place the toilet 
uh, just by the, our, our accommodation, I think. That's where people are going to be. So, um, there you go. We can actually just place the toilet. If it will fit, is it going to fit or is it going to be a pain? No, it's not. That's all right. We've got our little road there, so we'll just place our toilet like so. And that should be fine. We'll just check it out and we may need a second one, but to start off with, we'll just go with that one. The second one we're gonna do is our church. And it's only a temporary church. Um, but let's build our church. I'm sort of thinking we've built this town a little bit strangely and there's no sort of, even though that's the town center, um, there's no structural road. So I might actually make this the sort of bit of the, uh, the town center and start turning these buildings. Um, it will come together in the end. I know it will. Um, uh, so let's do that. Um, I'm gonna move it up a little bit and maybe back onto the actual train track itself with a few uh, few items. Actually, we will back up onto the train track. Start off with, with our church. There we go, nice and Now the last thing I just want to show you before we uh, finish off with this one, so we've got our little hunter's hut that we've built there and it's looking quite nice. It's actually capped out, oh yeah, it's capped out on meat, got a little bit of leather and we're doing right. So you can see this little circle uh, on the side. So when you click here, you've got to change the work area. Um, it will start off when you get your hunter's hut exactly like that and your hunter will actually be Hunter and your stonemason will all be collecting their items where it is on the actual circle itself. So you can zoom in um, and you can define the area. So in this case here, I wanted him to um, collect all this wildlife here, um, which is actually quite nice. We'll do the, the same. So he will actually just keep on using this area for where he will actually collect the wildlife. Once that wildlife, or in this case here, the stones are expired or the trees have expired, uh, you can actually tell them to go on to another area. The third building we're actually going to build is our little stone mason. Um, and it is such a nice... Uh, a nice area there. So I'm going to bring him around. Put him up, we won't put him up by the accommodation but we've just got so many stones here. So we'll just quite easily just drop them in the middle here. Um, so he doesn't have to walk as far. And that will be our little stone masons area. Um, he's got stones there, stones there, and we can move his circle over there. So you know what, we're not gonna have a stone problem here. I would say we are gonna be selling stone out of this town, um, which is great. We can focus on another um, priority for another town. Um, and uh, we can do that. As I said, as your settlers increase, um, they're gonna need different requirements. For instance, um, we're gonna need fish uh, and other areas. We're nowhere near water, so it means that we'll probably need to start another town down here and then have some way of actually sort of uh, bringing in fish in order to get the, uh, the merchants and the traders and the other type of people in as well. All right. That's it for uh, episode one. I hope you enjoyed it. I really think this has uh, got some great potential, this game. I, I just like the, I love city, city builders, um, but to have it in sort of the, the Wild West sort of uh, genre as well, um, just makes it fun as well. And I have played a, a couple of games, so once the bandits start coming in and um, you start having your gunslingers and that, it just makes it a fun little game. So thank you very much. Don't forget to hit the, the likes. Hit the, uh, the comments, I do read the comments and reply to the, uh, the comments if you'd like me to focus on anything uh, particular, uh, as we've just now hit summer of our first year. Um, and don't forget to hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more of Depraved or any other game that I'm doing. Thank you, have fun, and we'll see you in the next video.